Fueled by DeathCast. And we are in your shop, Pop Rock in Rochester. Yep. I can't stop looking at all the amazing things. Yeah, you have the look that a lot of people have when they walk in here. Uh, especially here in Rochester. We're the first thing any even close to this around. Yeah. You know? Is there any other comic shop in Rochester? There's comic book stores, sure. But nothing like no. with so, comics, coffee, and cereal. <laughs> So what made us come up with this was the fact that all the comic book stores or toy stores around here aren't like this. Like, they're, you go in, you get your stuff, and you leave. Right? Yeah, right. And, yeah. like, that's how a lot of them are. You go in, you get your books. They're kind of cluttered. There's stuff everywhere. Like, comic book stores, there's just boxes and boxes of comics everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we didn't want that. We didn't want that cluttered look. We that, didn't want that, that overwhelming feeling when yeah. you walk into the Yeah, they're, like, visually shop. assaulting yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And same thing with, like, collectible and toy stores. Yep. They're very, like, it's just, look at this, look at this. There's things here. Yeah. But we think that right now, with how big all this stuff is, uh, pop culture is with like Marvel, all these Marvel movies. They're the hottest thing. They make a bit like they put one out billion dollars, billion yep. dollars yep. in the pocket of Disney. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So naturally people would want to like hang out and enjoy these things together. Right. Right. I mean, they should have a place where they can get together with similar like-minded people and enjoy these things. So yeah. we've tried to create that, I guess. I think one of the coolest things is cereal all day. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I am a huge lover of breakfast cereal. And I, we, like, was that in the beginning of the idea no, of this show? Not no, at all. Not even close. So once again, it was just, we need a place where people can hang out. We need a place yeah. where people who enjoy this stuff can come and, and enjoy it together. Uh, so we wanted to do coffee. More specifically, caffeine was our thing. Yeah. Yeah. Calling ourselves a coffee shop seems disingenuous because I feel like there's like a level of expectation that comes with that that we would have like lattes and frappes and all this right, other stuff. Right. Well, we we didn't really want that. We wanted yeah. some coffee and some energy drinks and, and caffeine was our thing. Right. So um, it happens. It, hey, it's a, it's, it's a shop. <laughs> uh, so uh, we realized if we were going to have. If we wanted people to be able to hang out here, we should offer them some kind of food. And I always wanted to do Saturday morning cartoons with cereal. Yep. Which is great. Perfect. And then we were like, I mean, why just stop at Saturdays? I mean, we yeah. can do it all the time. And then it started, we can mix and match them. And then we added toppings. And then, like, it just grew from there. And now it's easy. We make them into milkshakes now. It's easily the most popular thing here. Easily. Yeah. And well, it's so, it's so nostalgic. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's right. just, it's a... It's a shop full of nostalgia. Even with the music playing, you got like 80s, early 90s, yeah, you know, music like, playing. It feels like if Saturday morning was a location, yep. we, here it is. Yep. You can yeah. get that Saturday morning feel. You can watch cartoons, which are usually on at least two of the TVs. You know, you can listen to that music. You see things that, you know, are from your childhood. So what made you want to start something yeah. like this? It's, uh, I, th I call it a life hack. It's just uh, take a bunch of things that you like mm -hmm. and just put them in a location, open it up. And hope that other people like them, too. That's and so cool. far, it's been pretty cool. People yeah. are really digging it. Outside of the cereal and the cartoons, the comics, have you always yeah. been a comic book fan? I have on and off throughout my life. I've always dug comics. All you right. know, I fall in and out of them yeah. because they are kind of hard to keep up with. They yeah. are. Yeah, definitely. So, and now they're so expensive. So yes. we should, <laughs> I mean... We have a membership program here where for $20 a month, you're a member, you get 20% off everything that includes coffee, cereal, comics you buy, but you wow. can also read them for free while you're sitting here. Wow. So if you, you know, actually read comics and you plan to like come here regularly anyways, the membership just makes sense. You can sit, enjoy a bowl of cereal, have a coffee and read a couple books. 